Hey guys, uh, today I am going to do a quick tutorial on how to take uh, a Blu-ray movie or DVD, basically any physical media disc, uh, rip it in Make MKV, and then compress it in Handbrake so that you can get um, really good quality uh, digital copies of your, your movies that you own um, and keep the, uh, the subtitle tracks intact. Um, so that you can actually access those later. So we're gonna start with, uh, with Make MKV. Um, as you can see, I already have uh, Make MKV open. The disk drive is open and I have inserted a movie and now we're gonna let that spin up. It'll take it just a, a minute to, to recognize the disk and then we'll open the disk. So. Now you may ask why we're doing this instead of just going through like Voodoo or, or another service like that Amazon video or something. I like to have um, I like to have digital copies of the movies that uh, that I own so that I am not reliant upon Voodoo or Amazon video or any of those services. Not that there's any problem with those. I just prefer to have my own copies that I can access any way I want. So I personally use Plex to watch these videos and I can get that on any device uh, no matter where I'm at, uh, you know, either home or, or out and about. So right now it is actually opening the disk so we can see the individual files. And uh, it's a great piece of software. I'll put uh, links to this software um, in the description and, and all that good stuff. Okay, so now it's open. Uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, you can see what movie we're doing here. It's obviously a, a classic, a very good movie. You see the big long list of files here. I really only want the movie itself. I don't really care about special features or anything like that. Um, and the movie's gonna be the largest file. So 39.9 gigabytes, that's gonna be our movie. I'm just gonna unselect everything and then go back and select the movie itself. Now, this is where all the individual files for the movie are. I have my Make MKV set to default to only grab English audio and English subtitles. So you can actually see here, um, there's lots of different subtitles. Generally, these down here are going to be um, uh, special features, uh, like commentary tracks, get subtitles for those. Um, it sometimes it takes a little bit of experimenting to uh, to find the right subtitle track to get it just the way you want it. So um, this one I've already ripped before, so I know I just need this top track here. So that's everything I need from the file. Um, I already have a location set up on my network where I'm going to rip this to. And so then I just hit the Make MKV button and it, it starts its process. Now it's gonna take probably 20 to 25 minutes to uh, completely rip this movie. So I'm gonna uh, pause the video and when it gets done, I'll start back up. Okay guys, as you can see, the rip has completed. We get a little pop-up message here from Make MKV saying everything's done. So just click okay. And now we're done with Make MKV. Next we go to Handbrake. And Handbrake is what we're gonna to use to compress the file. The reason I compress them is mainly because um, the raw Blu-ray files especially are just, they're, they're gigantic as you can see back here Make MKV. It was 40 gigs for the movie file. Um, it doesn't take many of those to completely full up, fill up a hard drive space no matter how many drives you have. So. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab the file we just created. So I'm um, gonna select that uh, file and then go to my um, location here. Sorry, where I had saved. So double click that, that's going to uh, scan it and port it into Handbrake. Now I am going to just output it to the same place basically. Um, and 
what we're going to do here is we're going to go to, uh, first off, I like to use the high profile uh, preset. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to, to tweak all the, the individual settings. The presets work just fine for me. So but we're going to click output settings here and then select MKV. With the reason we select MKV is that we can now import the uh, subtitle track here and the MKV file will actually keep that, uh, that subtitle track um, intact. So if I can spell... again so now we're going to actually start ripping this video um, and that's pretty much all there is to it really uh, on this machine ripping this uh, this video is going to take a number of hours so I'm not actually going to uh, video the whole thing but basically once you have it all set up and ready to go you just hit the start button here and just let it go until it finishes um, like I said doing this on a three hour movie um, at the highest settings. Um, it, it's gonna take it a really long time, so we're not gonna let the video go the, the whole time, obviously. But that's pretty much it. Um, if, uh, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll put links to both uh, Handbrake and Make MKV in the video description. And um, that's it, and maybe uh, next video we'll do, I'll actually go over um, importing uh, everything into Plex and getting your movie actually in the system. So that's pretty much it for today. Thanks.